Today, we're going to explain another person in the Bible. One that you would expect to be talked about in the Bible, but you will find alien and aliens in the Bible. Now, sad to say, I'm not talking about the ones from outer space. The UFOs and Martians. Exodus chapter 18 verse 2. Then Jethro, Moses' father-in-law, took the fur of Moses' wife after he had sent her back and her two sons, of which the name of the one was Gershom. For he said, I have been an alien in a strange land. So we're looking at Moses how one of his sons, he says, listen, I've been an alien in a strange land. Now, Moses did not come down in a UFO. Moses was not part of a, another planet. He came out of Egypt and went to a, another land and lived and had a child and named him Gershom, which means an alien in a strange land. Now, with that, we go back to chapter 2. Chapter 2, verse 20. It says, he said unto, him, he said unto his daughters, where is he? Why is it you have left the, left the man? Call him that he may eat bread. And Moses was content to dwell with the man, and he gave Moses his father his daughter. She bare him a son, and he called his name Gershom. There he goes. He said, I have been a stranger in a strange land. So in Exodus 18.3, and Exodus chapter 2, we see the word alien is a stranger. We see the word Stranger is the word alien in the Bible. King James 16.11 And there's been a lot of talk with illegal aliens coming to America. Well, there was a point in time, my friend, we were illegal aliens. We came into this land We came in two parts of this land Jamestown and Plymouth Colony the, the, the Pilgrims The Mayflower Indians Thanksgiving They did not put up the wall Though they should have and how we treated them. We take in the, the Native Americans. We put them on reservations. And, you know, we, we turn them into alcoholics. Talk to missionaries that deal with the Native Americans. We sold. We had them sell us land for trinkets of a lesser value. We have a problem now. In America, where they're crossing the border and we're trying to build fences and all that, and reality, some of them were part of this nation called America. The Mexicans were part of California and Arizona, and they're not illegals. We weren't illegals when we came to this country, the Europeans. Moses was an alien, a stranger. Deuteronomy 14, 21. He shall not eat of anything that dieth itself. Thou shalt give it to the stranger that's in thy gates, that he may eat it. Thou mayst sell it unto an alien, for thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. Thou shalt not see a kid in his mother's milk. So we're talking about the law 
the Hebrews and the Jews. Now, it says the stranger that's in thy gates, here's a Gentile that will fulfill what is told by the Jews. He's been circumcised. He's going to obey the law in the land. He becomes a stranger. He's not Jewish. But he's seeking after Jehovah. And he's going to believe and do and follow and obey the laws. He's a stranger. Now those who will not obey the laws, those that will not be circumcised, those who will not stand to Jehovah, they're an alien. They're a stranger. And they're not to be in the gates. Psalm 69. Psalm 69, 8. I am become a stranger unto my brethren, an alien unto my mother's children. That's Jesus Christ. Now, Jesus Christ was not this UFO. He didn't come from Mars. He came from heaven. But he was born of Mary. Mary had other children, daughters and sons, despite what any religion says. And for her children, that Mary had with Joseph, the brothers and sisters of Jesus. He was an outcast. He wasn't even looking at for following the Jews that we saw in Deuteronomy 14. You're an outsider. You're outside the gates. Though Jesus followed the law, obeyed the law, eight days was circumcised, as far as his brothers and sisters, you're an outcast. <clears throat> Eventually the nation of Israel will treat Jesus in such a way. They'll take him outside the city of Jerusalem, an outcast. Deuteronomy. 14. And they'll crucify him outside the gate. You're an alien. We don't want you. He came unto his own, his own received him not. John chapter 1. Isaiah 61. Isaiah 61. Verse 5. The strangers shall stand and feed your flock. The sons of the alien shall be plowmen in your vine dressers. Now we're looking at a period of time for Israel in the millennium. They will have the servants. They will have the workers. They will have the employees of the strangers and the alien. There will be those that will go forth in the law and the circumcision. They're not Jews. But they obey the Jewish traits set by Jehovah. Then there will be those who will not obey the law. Or do the law but not for Jehovah. And there will be aliens. As we've seen already. Are these people coming to this country? Are they aliens? Are they going to obey our law? They're going to do what needs to be? Most of them won't. There will be some that will. There are some that will come into this nation. They will take the classes. They will do the studying. They will perform the tests. 
and they will rightly become citizens of the United States of America. And they will be a product of hope and benefit to this country. While many will be a product of disaster and rebellion and fall. For we will have strangers not born in America, but they will fulfill what needs to be done. And we will have aliens that will be here to be here. Take advantage of all they can get without obeying. And the government will allow them. Lamentations, chapter 5. Lamentations, chapter 5, verse 2. Our inheritance is turned to strangers. Our house is to aliens. Now, this is the Jews after Babylonian captivity. When Babylon comes in and takes the Jews out and removes them out of the land, well, there's those two classifications again. Those who obeyed the ways of Jehovah, those that obeyed the ways of the law, and those who didn't. Ezekiel. Ezekiel 23, 17. And what we're going to look at is verse number... For thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I will deliver thee to the hand of them who thou hatest, the Babylonian, and to the hand of them from whom thy mind is alienated. Babylon. They hated Babylon. They didn't want anything to do with Babylon. They had restricted their life of Babylon. They have been Babylon has been alienated. You're not even a stranger to us. We want no part of you. And that's what the Stand Up for America today with defense is. We want to alienate you. Everybody that's coming, everybody that's running over, we don't want you. We have means of the proper way to be a citizen. We don't want to give you free benefits you don't deserve. I mean, I think my majority of people is if you do it properly to become an American citizen, okay, and you're here to work. You're here to labor. Listen, there are people that come into Florida. They are not citizens of America. And they get disability. There are people who come into this country. They are not American. And they get welfare. There are people in this country, they are not official Americans that get health care. And there are Americans, official Americans, whether they've been born as American or they've gone through and, and got themselves the, the tests, I mean, the, the classes 
in the test, and they became United States citizens who don't have the help they need. Alienated. Ezekiel 48. 14. They shall not sell it, nor exchange it, nor alienate the first fruits of the land, for it is holy unto the Lord. This is the land of Israel. They were not to despise. They were not to hate. And have nothing to do with their land. They were to love their land. They were to protect their land. They were to do everything the Lord said to do about that land. They were to harvest the land six years and let it rest to seven, which they didn't do. They didn't honor the Sabbath. Some would come to a whore living in Israel. That's wrong. Because that land is God's land and is given to the Jews, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob by the Lord God Jehovah forever. I don't care what the Pope says. I don't care what the Palestinians say. I don't care what Egypt says. I don't care what the United States says. I don't care what any president says. I don't care what England says. God said that that land is given to the children of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And they weren't to sell it, and they weren't to hate it. The Jews would be always the national people, the natural citizens of the land given by God because of their place of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Nothing would change that. Ephesians. Oh, we're going to the New Testament. Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 12. That at the time you were without Christ, lost, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel, and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope without God in the world. So there's that word alien. If you are saved, there was a time in your life that you were alienated. You were aliens from Israel. Salvation is of the Jews. You were strangers of the covenant. You had no idea what the law, even the churches today, they don't have no idea what the feast days are, but they know the Roman Catholic ones. And without Christ lost, You are, you are aliens. But now in, in Christ Jesus, you who sometimes were far off and alienated, aliens and strangers, are made nigh by the blood of Christ. So, by the blood of Jesus Christ, we are no more aliens. What are we? We are the family. We are the children of God. That we might cry what Paul says, Abba, Father. God is our Father. God is never your Father. When you are an alien to the salvation of Jesus, 
who is Jewish. Jesus was not European white. Jesus was not African colored. That's the wrong Jesus. Paul warns us of another Jesus. If you don't have the Jewish Jesus born of a Jewish woman of the tribe of Judah, then you're alien. You are an alien. You are lost. Chapter 4, verse 18. Having the understanding dark and being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance, that is, them because of the blindness of the heart. Alienated here, again, is you're darkened in understanding. You have no means of God. Your heart is blind. You are in ignorance of God. You are you are alienated. You are hated. Oh, we saw Ezekiel. You may be religious, but you're not approved of God. You may come into this country and not be American, but you don't belong in the land as the title of American. You're not going to approach God with the title Baptist, Catholic, Presbyterian. That's alien. Alienation of God. You must Come to God by a person who is Jewish that shed his blood on Calvary that was buried and arose again. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the means of ending your alienship and becoming a child of God. Colossians Colossians chapter 1 verse 21 And you that were sometimes alienated and enemies in the mind by wicked works it not Yet now have been, and now have he been reconciled. All right. Before salvation in Jesus Christ, you were alienated. You were the enemies of Jesus. You were alienated. You were the enemies of God in the ways of salvation. You could have been Hindu. You could have been agnostic. You could have been the Church of England. You could have been Greek Orthodox. Without the blood of Jesus Christ and the faith and the belief in the gospel of Jesus Christ, you were an alien and an enemy. You know, Moses saw himself when he was in the land of his father-in-law. He saw himself as an alien, as an enemy. Because his people, the Jews, were back in Egypt. He never settled himself to be the people of the land of his father-in-law and his wife. He was always associated with the Hebrews. That's who he was. Hebrews 11. Hebrews 11.34. 
Prince spread a violence and fire. Escaped the edge of the sword. Now these these are Old Testament saints. And the young men and women of the church. I say men and women of the young church of Jesus. And the persecution. How the weakest were made strong, violent in uh, fight, excuse me, took the flight to the armies of the aliens. What, UFOs, laser beams, and green men? No. Who were those aliens? This is the last place alien shows up in the Bible. Who were those aliens? Well, who did we learn that they were before? They were enemies of God. They were enemies of Israel. And in the young church, they were Jews. Jews hated those followers of Jesus. Look at Paul. He, he got licensed from the high priest. I'm going to Damascus and I'm going to get those, those, those followers of Jesus and we're going to persecute them and we're going to kill them. They are aliens. So was Paul. Then Paul came to know Jesus Christ as his seed. He was an alien. A Pharisee of Pharisees. And he was an alien. Until he got saved. Before April 25th, 1987, I was an alien. I was a Roman Catholic. An enemy. An alien. Of God and Jesus Christ. April 25th, 1987. Waterford, Connecticut. I received and put my faith and trust in the finished work of Jesus Christ. I became no more an alien. But I became a child of God. God is my father. No more an enemy of God. No more a stranger of God. No more an alien. No more the enemy. I'm saved. I'm born again. Praise the Lord.